Hey, good morning and welcome to Meseches Moed Kata and Daf Yomi, Daf Chavav, number 26. Um, we're going to start. Today's Daf is really Chav Zion. We're only a day behind. I caught up. I missed four days of learning. Can you believe it? Day, four days without learning any Torah. Just so I could be there with my wife and my new child and... You know, how can people say, how can you not learn for four days? You know what? You have other obligations. I'm honest, you know. Nothing can do about it. All right, like Murray says, well, we're making it up. Hashem gave me the call to make it up. So we're making it up. Start from the bottom of Chavham would be is the last word. Tan Rabbanon. I want to top of Chavavam and Alva. Elu, Kroin, Shemisach. And these are the rips. Uh, when you rip your clothing, that you can't ever fully sew up in a professional way. We're learning about you know, things you have to rip your clothing for. People don't know this. If your parents die, you can never fully sew that up. Al Rabosh in the Torah, your Rebbe Remuvak that you learn Torah from Al Nasi, Al Abbas, the president of Israel dies. Al Abbas dies. The head of the Supreme Court dies. Al Shmuas Haros, you hear about. Uh, the persecution or most of the Jews of a certain city dying or part of most of the Jews of Klai shall die. Al-Birchas Hashem, you hear Hashem's name being blasphemed, cursed. al Sefer Torah Shin Isra, al Sefer Torah that's burnt. val Ara Yehuda and the desolate cities in Yehuda. Yehuda is the lower lower Judean mountains, the lower portion of Eretz Yisrael. Shomron is the upper portions, the upper mountain, uh, Shomron mountains. The Judean mountains, Judean mountains, you see a desolate without any cities. I don't know if you I classify that as now as like that. I don't think so. I think they're built up pretty much in cities. Uh, Delstone is in the Judean mountains. The Al Yehuda Al Mikdash Al Yerushalayim, we see the base of Mikdash in this destruction. Al Yerushalayim, and you see Yerushalayim, the city of Yerushalayim, the Korbana, the Korea Al Mikdash, or most of Yerushalayim. You're going to see if you see the base of Mikdash first, and then you see the rest of the city of Yishalayim. First, you're from the base of Mikdash, and then you're most if you don't have to do a full ripping. We'll see how much how much is full ripping, how big your rip has to be. You just add on a little for Yishalayim. Obviously, in the Torah, you know, and where do you know that you have to rip your clothing for if your parents die or your rabbi dies? When Elisha saw Eliyahu go up to heaven, this is what he said. Avi, Avi, is that Avi, Imo, Avi, Avi, repetition, both one for your father, one for your mother. Rechev Yisrael Parashov, the chariot of Yisrael and its horsemen. Zerabosh Limdo Torah. That's a reference to his Rebbe that taught him Torah. My Mashma. Where do you see that in the Fossil Gun and Targum? Yosef, Rabbi, Rabbi, the Tab, the Hunni Yisrael, but Slusa, and Rasik, and Oprashin. My Rebbe, who is better for Klal Yisrael. But through his davening, Eliyahu, through his davening, is very strong. From chariots and horsemen. It's a reference to his Rebbe, Eliyahu, Torah, Torah. How do you know that all these rips, you can never sew them professionally again? When Elisha saw this, and going to heaven, he grabbed a hold onto his garments, and he ripped them into two. Kroim. Kroim, Yimashashnam, the fact it says he ripped them any of the Shalashnaim. Of course, he made it into two distinct parts. It means they have to remain ripped into the two parts. The Olam. Why is he mourning over him? He's still alive. Since no one saw him afterwards, the Gabi Dide came based on me. It's considered like he died. So therefore, it would be a veilus. How do you know? The president or, the, or one of the justices of the Supreme Court dies, or the head of the Supreme, the Chief Justice, Roberts, what's his name, John Roberts in America. In Israel, I don't know the Chief Justices. Um, they die. How do you know they die? Mishmos uh, haros, bad tidings. This is talking about where the war where where Yonasan and Shoal, his father, were killed in the war, and most of Kali's was killed in the war. 
Shaul is a Nazi. Shaul was the president. He wasn't the king anymore. He was the president. Actually, he was the king until he died. Shaul is a Nazi. Yehonasan is a Basin. Yehonasan was the head of the court. Alam Hashem, Al Bas Yisrael, Elish Mos Arose. These are bad tidings, and most of Kali Shaul died. I'm only a significant port of portion of Kali Shaul died. Maybe you need all three things. You need the the Nasi, the Avbastin, and the Shmuel Shros at the same time in order to do a Korea. I'm really Al Al Hifsik It says the word Al many times in the Pasuk to show you all three are independent. The Mikarina Shmuel Shros. Aros, do you rip your clothing if you hear a lot of Jews died? I'm really the Shmuel Kata Shmuel Malka, Shresha Alpa Yehuda, Mizigas Kisri. He says Shmuel Malka, Shmuel Malka, King Shapur. There was a King Shapur in. Uh, Syria, which was, I guess, Iraq, Iran, Syria, part of that that area. There was a King Shapur, a lot of King Shapurs um, from the time of Shmuel, which is around 200 to 300 AD. There were King Shapurs who were the head of this Assyrian Empire. I don't remember the name of the empire. I think it's Ahmadinejad or something like that. I'm not sure. Check it up. Uh, he said he one of the king Shapurs killed. He told Shmuel he killed twelve thousand Jews. Mizigas Kisri in a place Mizigas Kisri below Kara. Shmuel heard about this. He didn't rip his clothing. So the Gemara says, "Lo I'm of Sibor." I'm only talking about most of the congregation. Like the incident of Shal and Yonasan, where most of the Sibor from a specific place were killed. There are more. There are more than twenty-four thousand people. There are me katal shvarmaka. You died. Did he have King Shapur ever kill Jews? I'm only shvarmaka the Shmuel. It was a statement where King Shapur said to Shmuel, "Tasteily the lokati Yehudi ma'olam. I never killed Jews ever." Hasam inu garmen Avshai. The Mar says, "There it was their fault. They were killed. The Jews' fault." The Amar Ami lekal Yisiri the Mezigas Kishri Pakashua the Lurkia. Because uh, the way they treated, they spoke harshly about the king. Uh, therefore, the wall of Lutkia, which was a town in the place of Mizigas Kis, where they lived, so therefore it was overturned. And how do you know that uh, cursing Hashem, you rip clothing, you hear it. They came and they were torn. They came to Chizkia, uh, with torn clothes. Uh, in the previous Pesukim, we're talking about that. Yehoyakim, that someone uh, blasphemed Hashem. Whether you hear directly Hashem's name being blasphemed, or someone told you, when that person tells you that Hashem's name was cursed, then you have to rip then. The Edom who witnessed the actual uh, cursing, they don't have to, when they repeat it to someone else, they don't have to rip again. They already ripped one time when they heard it. My hobbies. The Gemara says, "What does it help the fact they ripped already when they heard it?" Hakashami Hashta. Now they're reporting it. They hear it again. They should rip again. It says when they told Chizkiyahu about it, he ripped his clothing to imply they didn't. People who told him didn't rip their clothing. How do you know all these people? You don't uh, fix the rip. Asia Kriya Kriya. We learned Zerushav Kriya Kriya. It says by Kriya by. Elisha, that he did, right, that, that he, the Shnayim, that it remained too. So also Korea here, also, only it's not Mizaka, can't be fully repaired professionally. Say, Vitor, Shnishov, Minal, how do you know you rip when it's Vitor burned? You see, Vitor, Vitor burning, you rip. They'll see, you can crow Yehudi, Shalosh Daltos, Varba, you crow Bitar, a sofa of Ashlech Ala Ish, Asher Al Ha'ach. When they read the three or four stanzas, you can see it's talking about Echa. Uh, in front of Yoyakim, uh, he took a razor and he threw the shameless of Hashem into and this is actual savior Torah into the fire. My shalosh daltos for Arba. Arba. What are the three or four stanzas? Amar le Yoyakim. So this is Yermio. He said to Yoyakim, "Cause of Yermia, or the people said to Yoyakim, "Cause of Yermia, save our kinos." He wrote, "Save our kinos," which is Eicha. Amar lehu maksiv base is what's written in there. Eicha, Eicha, Yashua, but da. They said, "How is it going to be?" That Yerushalayim is going to be lonely. I'm a little on a Malka. It's not going to happen. I'm the king. I'm really Bocha Tivcha Balayla. You're going to cry at night. Anna Malka. He said, I'm the king. It's not going to happen. Galsi Hudi Maoni. 
Yehuda will go into exile from poverty. Anamalka, I'm the king. Now that's happening. Dark and seen. Avelos, the paths of Yushalayim will be desolate. Anamalka, I'm the king. Hayu Sarel, Arosh. Then it says the enemies will be at the head, meaning they'll take over the kingship. Amalu Man Amra. He said, Who said this? Ki Hashem Hogel Rov They quoted the rest of the pasuk because Hashem is angry on many sins of Kali Shalom Yad. Kader Kol Askar Shabbat was very upset with this. This Navua of Yermia of Yermia in Sefer Eicha, he cut out all the shameless of Hashem Shabbat with Sarf on Beish, and he burned them in fire. I don't see what Lakara big day. And when this happened, they weren't afraid and they didn't rend their clothing. My cloud the bowl and mikra. In fact, the, the pasuk is criticizing them that they didn't rip their clothing. It see you see that they should have ripped their clothing. I'm like a papa la bai emor mishum shmuas aros. Maybe it's talking about because it was a prediction of. The desolation of Yerushalayim and all the people dying. It wasn't Shmuel Saros. People didn't die then. It was just a prophecy of what it was going to be. So you see, it's ripped. They ripped their clothing over the Sefer Torah, or they should have ripped their clothing over the Sefer Torah. If he sees the Sefer Torah being ripped, he has to rip two rippings in his clothing. One on the empty space of the Sefer Torah, and one the actual written word. The S had Dvarim, the Megala is the Megillah, or the Megala is the empty space, Dvarim are the words. Rabbi Abba, Rabbi Huna, Rabbi Abba, Yasuke, Rabbi Abba, they were sitting in front of Rabbi Abba, Baal, Afnuye, he wanted to go to the bathroom, Shachla, the Tawatfasve, Achte, Abbe Sadi, he put his tefillin down on the pillow, Asi, Abbas, and Imos, and Ashish came by the Mivla. He wanted to swallow the tefillin. Maybe he actually did swallow the tefillin. Now I'm chayiv. I saw this. I have to rip twice. I'm really menalachaha. Where do you know this? This actually happened to me. Then my tefillin was destroyed. I came from Ramasna. I came from Ramasna. He didn't know. They answered. You have to rip for it. I came from Rav Yehuda of Amrli. And he said that Rav Yehuda told me, Haki Amar Shmuel Amrel Bizroa. It's only when it's forcibly destroyed, someone burns it or does it forcibly, when it, an onus an animal takes it, then you're not responsible to rip for that. How do you know if you see desolate cities of Yehuda? Eighty people that had shaved beards, the Kruy, the Godim, their clothes were ripped, Ms. Godim, Mincha, Levona, Biyoda, Mahavi, Beis Hashem. They also made uh, cuts on themselves, but they were holding carbon things for carbon mincha, flour for carbon mincha, and frankincense, lavona. Amar of Chelbo, Amar Ula, Biram, Lezer. So you see, any of these posts took him that uh, they wanted to go bring the carbon, and then they saw that Ari Yehuda were destroyed, so then they ripped their begadim. It says, Kruya begadim in the Apostle. Amar of Chelbo, Amar Ula, Biram, Lezer. I wrote Ari Yehuda Bechorbana when he sees. The cities of Yehuda, the Judean mountains in desolation. Omer Ari Kachach Ayu Midbar. Their holy cities became a midbar, a wilderness. The Korea, the Korea, and then he rips. He has to say this, and then he rips. Yerushalayim, the Korbanah, we see Yerushalayim in his destruction. Omer Tzion Midbar Haisa Yerushalayim Shmama Tzion, another name of Yerushalayim, became a a wilderness. Yerushalayim Shmama Yerushalayim became desolate. The Korea, and then he rips. Based on Megiddo, the Korbanah. They see the base of Migdash destroyed. Omer base Kachino with Raytano Asher Lucha Vaseno Yal Shreif Asheish. Our holy house uh, that our forefathers praise became consumed with fire. Bechol Machmadeno Yal Acharva. All the precious things, our all our preciousness, the base of Migdash for the most precious thing became destroyed. The Korea and then he rips. Korea al Migdash who most of us shall lie. And Mishnah says. Raisa says, you rip from the Mikdash, you add on Yishalayim. Raminu, the Raisa says otherwise. Echad shomev, echad roa. Whether he hears about Yishalayim or the base of Mikdash is destroyed, or he sees it. Came as Yigil a Sofim, when he got to Sofim, Har Sofim, so now the next Yishalayim, Korea, the Korea al Mikdash, Bifneyatzmo. Yishalayim Bifneyatzmo. He rips, but he rips twice. Once, one ripping, a full ripping on the base of Mikdash, and a full ripping while it's in Yishalayim, not just those sepis. So this price seems to indicate they have to rip two full rippings, which we're going to see is a tefach, not just a hosafa, which is a kosher, which is even a little bit, a little bit rip, even the smallest amount. Lokash, had the pagod mikdash resha, had the pagod mishalayim resha. Depends. If you saw the base of mikdash first, then you rip a full ripping on the base of mikdash, and you just add on if you, if you see your shalayim. But if you see your shalayim first, then it's the lesser destruction. So you do a full ripping, that's the first kriya, and then you're just, and you have to do another full kriya for 
the base of Migdash, which is a more Chamra Velas. Tanur Rabbanan, the Kulan Rashayan, the Sholan, the Molan, the Lokan, the Asos, the Sosan Kamin, the Sulamas, the Ola, the All these rippings that we talked about that you're not allowed to fully stitch up, stitch up in a professional way, you're allowed to Sholel, is to do it in an unprofessional way, the Molan is to fold it over and stitch it. Lokan is to gather the corners and to stitch it. Sosan Kamin, the Sulamas, or to do it like stitching like a ladder, which is not professional stitching, but you can't do a professional stitching. Amar Rechista, Rechista said, what is this thing that's a professional stitching that you can't do? Tab of Chavam and Beis, Ovi Ichoy Alexandri. It's talking about the Ichoy they did in Alexandria, which is a place in Egypt. I don't know exactly what he's referring to, but I would venture to say that it has something to do with Egyptian cotton. Egyptian cotton is known as opposed to Turkish cotton. It's known uh, not being as soft, but maybe be a little more absorbent, maybe not, but it has um, a loop, it's like a terry, a terry robe, it has, if you look carefully, it's like, it has like uh, loops in it, uh, loops, uh, if you look carefully at it, that's, that's the weaving, it's a weave with loops in it, that is considered a professional, it's a very comfortable type of garment, a regular professional sewing job, I don't know what classify, I think you could do that for a Korea, for all these things, even for a parent, you just can't do it in a way that it will be luxurious. Let's say you have something that was ripped already and you fixed it. You either did it in a professional way, you folded it and sewed, you gathered it and sewed, you did sulamos, like a ladder, and you sewed layotza, and then you rip it again. It's not going to rip it. But if it was professionally sewed and then you rip it, yotza, because then it's just like ripping a new clothing. A new bag in Amar of Christo, Yichel Alexandria has to be a real professional, has to be a luxurious weave, it has to be a weave of a terry robe, terry cloth, terry bathrobe. You're allowed uh, to do it in a way if you have the top of a clothing. I don't know to make the bottom of it into a collar and the top on your bottom. I don't know. I don't, uh, turn it upside down, or lachoso, that you're allowed to do it to a professional uh, weaving, even if a professional uh, repair, even the ones you're not allowed to repair, if you turn it, the repair on the bottom is not considered a repair. Hashem and Lazar owes her lachoso. Hashem and Lazar doesn't allow you to do that. Hashem and Lazar owes her lachoso, just like a person who did the Korea, he can't repair. Kakalo Kayak, someone who buys, he starts to sell the ripped clothing, someone else, Lazar lachoso. He also can't professionally sew it. When he's selling it, he has to tell Lokeach you can't repair it. The first Kriya, when you see Yerushalayim, is a Tefach. When you see, sorry, when you see the base of Migdash, is a Tefach. When you see Yerushalayim after that, then you add on three at Zbos, which is three fourths of a Tefach. Divrei Rei Meir. That's Rei Meir. The first Kriya, the first Kriya, the first Kriya, the first Kriya, the seven culture, the seven is even of the, the minimal amount, the little, the littlest kriya possible. Amar ula halach kriya be mayor, but kriya lach falls from mayor, but kriya lach the rehuda to seven by mayor. The original kriya has to be a tefach, and uh, the to seven could be even a culture. Tanya nami hachi. We learned a brayst like Israel Yosi Yomer Tchilas kriya tefach to seven culture. First kriya on the base of Megiddo tefach to seven in Shalayim is a culture. Tanya about Amar ula meis aviv. They told him his father died of kara, and he did a kriya, which is a tefach. And then they told him afterwards, his son died, uh, and he added on the kriya. We're going to see, he heard about his son dying after the shiva. His father, all the Ilyan and the one for the bottom kriya, the, the kol shuhu, that he could professionally sell, because for his son, his son, you could misacha. Elyon, the top one, which is his parents, ain't a misacha. If his son died with Kara and they did a full Korea, Mace Avi Bahosaf Al Yon, and then after Shiva of his son, he heard about his father dying, and he did a Hosafa, Misach El Yon Misacha, Takan Misaka, the top part you could repair professionally. The bottom, which is for his parents, you can't. Mace Aviv Basimo Mesacha Mesachosa. They told him one fell swoop that his mother, father, sister, and brother died. Korea Kara Echa the Kulon. Tanakama holds you just one Korea because you heard everything at the same time. You heard him Mesir Omer Al Kulon Kara Echad. Uh, you do two rippings, two full rippings, one on your brother and sister and one on your parents because you have to accord honor to your parents separately. If you say, you can't uh, add on or you can't combine other Kriyos with your father and mother. My time, Amar of Nahma, Yitzhak, Lefisha, Enam, Tosefes. 
because of the cover of your parents, they're not in the Tzav, it's not considered adding on. They can't be uh, incorporated in the Kriya with someone else. I'm a Shmuel, Alacha, Kriyuda, Maseira. Shmuel says, Alacha, like Kriyuda, Maseira, that you have to do one Kriya for your parents and one Kriya for your brother and sister. Me and my Shmuel, Alacha, you Shmuel, say this, I'm a Shmuel, Alacha, you're a make of Abel. Shmuel says, normally, when you have two opinions, you go with the lenient opinion by Avelis. When I answer, Avelis, Luchud, Kriya, Luchud, Kriya is not a din in Avelis, Kriya is a din. Uh, I don't know what it's a din. It's not a, it's not, it doesn't cause you to miss Abel to feel sad. It's a din of, I guess, honor to the deceased. And that uh, we don't call a kula. Adhechan Korea. Until where do you rip? Meaning when you're doing multiple rippings, you can rip the shirt a little bit and rip another tefach or you have to do another full rip. How far could you rip it uh, that's considered to be ripping? Atibur, you could rip up until your navel, until your belly button. You can only rip until your heart. Even though there's no distinct proof for this, there is a tangential proof. Rip your hearts and don't rip your clothing. It equates your clothes to your heart. So you rip until your heart. If you got to your, the first opinion says you got to your navel, you got to your belly button. You move over, you rip over here, you move over Three heads both to another place, you start ripping over there. <clears throat> if you rip so many times on the front of your shirt, then you turn it around uh, and then you rip the back of your shirt, which is now in your front. If it was completely filled both in the back and the front on top, so then you turn over your shirt and wear it upside down and start ripping from the top. If you initially ripped from the bottom of your shirt, from the side of your shirt, that's not considered a Kriya. El Shekohen Godol Pori Momata. Kohen Godol, it is significant Kohen Godol, he's not allowed to show mourning when one of the Zion Krovim dies. But he has to be a little sad, so therefore he rips his clothing on the bottom, which is not really considered a Kriya. Pligi Bar of Masam or Ukva. Masam or Ukva, the following Machlokas, Rai Mishmei Dabu, the Shmuel, both of them heard it in the name of the Shmuel, the Levi. And one heard from Abu Dishma, one heard from Levi. All during the seven days of mourning, let's say you had one relative that died. And then during Shiva, you heard another relative die. So that another that additional relative deserves a whole new Kriya himself. Shiva, if you heard the second relative dies after the Shiva, Mosif, then you could just add on to the first Kriya. The whole 30 days, if you hear the second relative dying in the thir- in the, within 30 days of the first death, then you have to do an Akriya. But after Shloshim, you can do most of Moscow. Rabbi Zeir Amanda, I'm going Shiva Korea. My, what, what the person who says that Kol Shiva, you have to do a new ripping. Why? Because during seven days of the morning, you can't even do, you can't even repair it partially. We know in Isha, after the burial, she's allowed to repair it in an unprofessional way right away. Hachanami, uh, so to her also. She should be able to do, even in Toch Shiva, she should be able to add on. Where's the house of Mishim called Isha? That's not a real halakha. That's just because Kavara Isha, who, Manda Amar Kol Shloshim Korea, my. The reason he says you do a new ripping within 30 days, Delonita La Hosto, because. Uh, what's the special luck about 30 days? And you can't do a professional correction, a professional sewing job during 30 days. Your parents that you can never repair professionally. Also by them over there. That for your entire life, you should do a new Kriya if during your parents' mourning. Your mourning of your parents. For the rest of your life, whenever you hear a relative dying, you should do another Kriya. It's not a really din and kriya, it's just because extra honor, so that's why you never professionally sew it forever. Let's say you're going to the cemetery to bury someone, and you go, you, you put on a ripped piece of clothing. You're stealing from dead people and from live people. You're stealing from a dead person because... You're not doing a rip for him because your shirt is already ripped. It goes out the time. You're you're deluding people to think they don't have to rip, because uh, you're not doing a rip because it's already ripped. Rishon Omer, I'm Omer lechaviro. He's Shemani Chalucha. Eilech Evakir as Abba Shulchola. He said, "Tell your friend, let me borrow your shirt. I'm going to go visit my father. He's sick. He's deathly ill. The halachu matzur shemes. You go and you find me actually died. Korei Omacho. 
you rip and eventually you uh, repair the rip. Apparently, you could even repair it. You could, uh, if somebody else's piece of clothing, you can actually professionally stitch it. Stitch it. You return the garment to him and you pay to him the damage that a shirt is worth less now, whatever, how much is worth less because it's ripped. He doesn't tell his friend that he's going to visit his deathly old father. He's a little bow, and then he sees that his father dies. He's not allowed to rip his shirt because he didn't give permission to do that. A very sick person that loses one of his iron clothes, and we don't tell him that the person died. His mind is going to go crazy. He's going to go psychologically crazy. And a car in front of, we don't rip in front of him. Mashaskan is an usher in front of. You don't let the woman uh, cry. Uh, in front of him, again, these reasons being, they shouldn't. He shouldn't know about the death of one of his krovim. But Mekaren the kata and the agmas nefesh a different halacha is that a kata and who is not mechuyev in mitzvah, so he doesn't have to do kriya on one of his own krovim. We do do a kriya for him the agmas nefesh in order that people should see and feel bad about the death of Karn al chama al chamoso. There's halacha you're supposed to rip your clothing if your father-in-law or mother-in-law died. I didn't know this. They should cover each dog. I don't think we'll be passing like this because. To honor your wife. Amar of Papa Tana Baba Rabasi, we learn in the Brices of El Rabasi, Avel Yniak Tinak Bisalchik, a mourner shouldn't hold a child in his lap. They should reveal the skulk and makes him happy or causes him to laugh. And Imsim is Gana Labrios because it's a disgrace that this mourner is laughing. It's inappropriate to laugh while you're a mourner. My brother in law once compared me this guy, I forgot what his name is, Tom Green or something like that. Tom Green, he was, had a popular show in the late 90s, Canadian actor, it was a feature on MTV. Uh, he said, I'm similar to him. I go and I interview people randomly in the street that he was known for. One of the things this guy was known for is that he had no tact, and when people would die, he would make jokes. So I went to the point of my brother-in-law compared me to him. I said, it's not a nice comparison. You know, He did all the disgusting and crazy stuff. He said, no, I'm talking about the good part of his career before he got sick, when he would just interview random people on the street and get their reactions. That's one of the things I'm good at. That's what he meant. Uh, and, of course, the Gemara says, I would follow like the Gemara, that you have to have tact in life. You don't make jokes when someone is dying in the house of a mourner. <laughs> the mourner himself definitely shouldn't make jokes. Hope you enjoyed today's share. I ask you, I don't have the statistics in front of me, um, how many people are subscribed or what percentage of people who watch my videos are subscribed. But if you are watching this video and somehow you made it to the end and watched, somehow, I mean, you should be watching to the end, but you're here at the end. I ask you to please subscribe the nicest possible way. Subscribe to my channel. Like the videos. Leave me some comments. It would really help me to be able to subscribe to my channel because I do produce quality content uh, all the time and it gets better and better and better hopefully one day i'll be able to get more people on my team get a professional editor uh editing is a big thing uh i believe I definitely have the best content on youtube i definitely not the best editor on youtube that's for sure i do editing myself so I'm looking eventually when I have a bigger budget, I'll be able to hire someone who will do professional editing, better graphics. Till then, subscribe, like my channel, like my videos, and get me to a place where I could afford a bigger team and produce even higher quality videos. Have a good day, bye.